It's unbelievable. There's an Android launcher that can fit in a three and a half inch floppy disk from 1983. Hello, fellow data overhaulers. Thank you for joining me as we break down everyday tech and help you get control of your online data. This video is part of a multi-part series of reviews where we're taking a look at alternative Android launchers or home screens for the digital minimalist and those who wanna take back some of their privacy. Last Launcher takes only the same amount of storage as a single-sided floppy disk from 40 years ago. Check this out. I normally wouldn't start a video buried deep inside of an Android settings page, but I wanted to point this out. Last Launcher, once installed, is only 279 kilobytes. That's amazing. When you go to the home screen, you're presented with a single panel page that lists all of your installed applications. The size indicates how often you've tapped on it and used the app. So for example, if I begin to use new pipe, the more times that I use it, the larger that tap target of a link becomes. The main modifications for this launcher center around changing the size, color, and visibility of each one of these links. So if I long press new pipe, I can then choose a desired color, opacity, and size. I can also choose to freeze that size so that it's available at a given size all the, all the time. I have the ability to hide apps that I don't particularly use. So in this case, I want to hide this one also have the ability to rename them. So my loyalty card keychain, I can just say loyalty cards to simplify the look. This is as much as you get with Last Launcher. It's a very simplistic home screen that's completely text-based. So is this launcher a bit too cluttered or does the simplicity spark joy? Have you tried one of our reviewed text-based launchers for Android? Let me know what you think in the comments and I'll see you in the next video.